Welcome back, dude. <laughs> dude, ready, go. Hello, everyone. Free the Printies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. On the last episode, we wrapped up all the in-between side quests, and on the next episode here, we're gonna see if we can find where the star spirit is. And luckily for us, our friend Merlin here has a little ninji over who's come from a place called Starborn Valley. Hmm. Far to the north and at the end of the earth. Oh, another relative, I take it? Hmm. Oh, okay. That's your son? Well, I guess you would probably be a father by now, right? Alright, well, looks like we're off on a quest to Starborn Valley. Well, maybe if we're lucky, we'll, we'll find the star spirit along the way. Oh, you mean that blue door or whatever that we couldn't enter before. Yeah, I think I showed that off on one of the previous episodes while we were getting the the Ultra Boots. So, Well, with our next task in hand, we once again return to the sewer. And now we're going to go to where that door was. In style, apparently. <clears throat> go ahead and hop on sushi here. Sail across this way. Alright, let's see. Wonder what Shiver City's gonna be like. That'll be interesting, I suppose. Oop. Just gotta dodge some of these guys. Hopefully none of them catch us. Aha, nice try. Oh, you missed a block over here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Shooting star. Just another item I'll most likely hoard in a later date. <clears throat> now, what you want to do usually here is you want to get Watt out, but... As you can tell, you can just kind of feel it out there. So let's go ahead and activate these blocks. <clears throat> which you would obviously need the Ultra Boots to do. So now we're going to go ahead and hop across here. And there's our blue door right there. And it is now open, so we can go in and there's a pipe. Let's go ahead and head on in and, whoop, well, got cold in here really quick. Right over here, though, is an upgrade block. And I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade Paracarry. We're almost done with all the upgrade blocks, too, actually. <clears throat> By the end of the game, all your partners will be ultra rank, so. Alright, well, Paracarry's upgraded. That just leaves Bombette. She'll be getting the final upgrade. Well, let's head on through this doorway here, I guess. Or doorway pipe. And right into Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Well, it must be going the right way. And oh my, it's my people! The printies, they're everywhere! Well, I wish they were printies, but these guys are just normal penguins, but... Hey, dudes, close enough, right? Oh, well, no, I actually didn't know that. I'm just kidding, I do. Yeah, no, I don't have any. Not yet. We won't be doing that till afterwards. What do you mean, dangerous? Oh, okay. Well, keep that in mind, I suppose. What's going on in here? No, oh, well, I don't think I'm going to change my outfit. Rocking the overalls is pretty much all I ever do. Hello. Oh, feel the rhythm. The pengy penguin bop. Oh, yeah, see this guy? Pay attention to the bucket hat and the scarf lines and that. That'll come in handy later. Ooh, shaved ice does actually sound pretty good. It's nice and hot outside now that some, you know, summer's hit in full swing, so... Well, what you want to do is you can come up here, open the window there, and then jump, well, jump across, but apparently we can, uh, we can fail the jump. Why not? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and try this again, shall we? Don't make me switch to paracarry. Oh, yep, well, yes, bomb bet. Let's just fail multiple times. Oh, boy. Well, there we go. We did it. We could have made that jump, but I made that look a lot harder than it needed to be. But if you fly across there and go through the window there, you get the Attack FXE badge. Just another sound effect badge, which we don't really use, so... Not really worth our time coming up here, just for that completion. And right here is a star piece in the ground. I love having the Ultra Hammer and being able to just flip the panels that way, so... What do we got going on here? Shady individual. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Oh, what's going on in here? Oh, speaking of shaved ice, look on the table there. Oh, okay. 
So, her husband's the mayor. Let's go say hi. Maybe he can... Oh, well... I don't know. This can't be happening in a Mario game. Is this guy dead? Um... T sounds good, but... Yeah, he's probably just sleeping, that's all. Uh oh Well... We've got a penguin murder mystery afoot. Oh, well, yeah. She just literally screamed it to the heavens there. And it is a penguin murder mystery. Well, I didn't expect to walk into a, a murder mystery when I signed up for this. Oh, boy. Is that the cops? Oh, no. It's a penguin detective. Why would I do this? Yeah, his, his flippers are clipped. It's not me, though. I just got here. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. It's kind of tragic. Penguin on ice. Wait, what? How are you going to point your flipper at me? I just got here. Oh, I guess I, guess I did kind of just barge in, but still. Why would I whack the mayor? Don't answer that. Oh, you're a professional. And you got the witness. She didn't even see anything. She's a liar. Wow, cold blood. Yeah, well, it might be me, but... This doesn't make any sense. What's your problem? You don't actually think Mario did it, do you? Yeah, I mean, why would I lie about something like this? Well, you guys did say some shady people were skulking around. Well, that, at least that's a relief. Well, I guess we have to solve this mystery. Oh, so I do all the legwork while you just stand there. Hmm. Makes sense. And yeah, sure enough, we cannot leave the city until we solve this mystery. The pipe will be blocked and the exit to the city will be completely cut off. Oh, look, we got these guys over here. Yeah, he did have a note that said Herring Way, so maybe that would be an interesting clue. Now, don't trust anyone that carries a huge hammer. Take that as you will, everyone. Hey man, just because I carry a huge hammer doesn't mean I'm the guilty one. It's not about the size of your hammer, it's about how you use it. Yeah, sure enough, he's the guy that will block the pipe, so... Yeah, he's not gonna budge. No, oh, well, you're just doing your job. I salute you, sir. Alright, well, how are we gonna go about solving this mystery? Oh, okay, well, this is Herringway's place, so let's go on inside. Uh, wait, what? Oh, well, nobody's here, so... I guess Herringway's out. Maybe he is the one that did it. Well, what you want to do, though, is you'll notice there is a frozen key down there. We'll get to that in a moment. Oh, I don't talk to penguin killers. I didn't murder the penguin. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll let you know. Key's right down here. So what you want to do is you want to use your ultra boots here and jump three times, since three seems to be the magic number. And we'll go ahead and switch to sushi. Accidentally talk to this guy again. And what we want to do is dive under for the key. And we got the warehouse key. So now we should be able to go into the warehouse. Hooray. Let's see. Oh, Goombara, you stuck with me from the beginning. We might as well do this together. Well, I have your key. Oh, well, I guess I'll unlock the door myself. Now, do you have new dialogue? Oh, yeah, no problem. What's in the warehouse, by the way? Oh, a lot of junk. It seems like we've got nothing but junk in here. And a spring. Which takes us right up here. Right above Herringway's house. And now, traditional fashion, instead of taking it gracefully like a pipe, we fall down the chimney. And stumble right into Herringway's house. Oh, well that makes sense. This was a secret room all along. 
I think you're the murderer, sir, if I'm not correct. Let's see. Now, what do you mean? Hmm. Yeah, actually, maybe you can come over with us and maybe clear some of this stuff up. Oh, engage the stairs. Oh, well, he wasn't kidding when he said this was a secret room. But yep, now we're down below in the bottom floor, so... Let's go ahead and follow Herringway over to uh, the mayor's house, and maybe he can fill in the blanks to this murder mystery. And we can put to rest the... Uh, Penguin murderer, you know, the mayor. You know, finally let his spirit free. Alright, well. Alright, let's go on in. Alright, we've brought him. This is your man. Yep, that would be him. Hmm. Wait, you didn't even look at his flipper? Oh, great detective work. Jeez. Yeah, he scribbled the message in his own blood. So it would seem. The truth is out. Who better to do it? Oh, he lives out his own plots, exactly. Well, yeah, it's usually the friends that are closest to you that are the ones that commit the atrocities. Good job, I did all the legwork. What do you mean? Hmm. Can you prove that, though? Could've just done it in your free time. Man, put your flipper down, lady. It's not me. Oh! Oh, the body's twitching. What's going on here? Oh no, a zombie! He's coming back from the dead! Oh boy. No, well, no, I don't know if he's a ghost. Oh, well, seems like he's alive and well. Yeah, what exactly happened? What a twist. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of this. Ow. And they frickin' knocked his head. Well, that makes sense, I guess. You think she would have, uh, heard that in the other room and actually came to investigate. But so much for that. Well, I guess that proves their friendship right there. Oh, that's right. Wasn't he one of the characters that was actually at the castle at the beginning? I think he might have been. I don't remember, though. There was a lot of characters there. Yeah, probably a good idea. Does that mean I can leave now? Well, yeah. I guess it was fun playing detective for a little bit, but... Back to saving the world, if possible, you know? Mm, happens to the best of us. You know, one minute you're just trying to enjoy the game, and the next you are trying to recover footage that is lost completely. What do you mean that's a different subject? Oh yeah, I need permission to get through that gate, so, uh, well, I guess I have his permission. Yeah, what do you got to say? Uh-huh. A flip-flopper, if I ever did see one. Guilty, innocent, innocent, guilty, it's all the same to you. Well, luckily for us, that case is now solved, and the penguin was not put on ice, so we can continue our journey, because we need to go and visit Merlin's son still. So, if you guys recall, there was a gate off to the side here. And now we can get through and enter a brand new area. Let's see, what have we got going on here? Nice little pathway. And what's going on here? Who's that? Oh boy, you again? Brahaha, <laughs> we've been waiting for you, Mario. I've been here forever. I was getting desperate. I thought I was gonna freeze. This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy. I hate it. Can't take it anymore. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back someplace warm. Here we go. 
All right, a little boss battle against Junior Troopa. I've been busy, Mario. I've learned cool techniques. Check this out. He's got a stick. Oh, magic. All right, well, I guess anybody can just learn it. Go ahead and start off with tattling here. It's Junior Troop. I'm stunned. Really, this guy just will not quit. HP 50, attack 8, defense 1. He's obviously been training. Seems he can use magic now. Uh, let's get this over with. Yeah, I agree. Let's flatten this guy once and for all. We're going to go ahead and use D-Down Jump, because that ignores defense, and we'll be able to knock 8 health off of him. Mario, you like magic tricks. You won't like this one. And yep, sure enough, he can cast magic, and if you're not quick enough to dodge it, you will take 8 damage. So, get ready to uh, be on that block button. Let's try power jump. Okay, it does the same damage. So, let's see, let's go ahead and bring Watt out for that defense that he's got. Since Watt can actually pierce defense, so we'll get the 5 damage on him there. Let's try and block this and fail. Absolutely. Now, let's see, what else can we do here? Eh, well, I guess, I mean, might as well just stick to D down jump. I mean, 8 damage plus the 5 from Watt every turn. Eh, hitting pretty hard. Alright, let's try and block this time. There we go. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, what's going on here? Are we getting a power up? Oh, yep, sure enough, our attack power has been increased. This might actually finish the job then. Oh, oh almost. Yeah, increased it by two points, so that's good. Well, now it's finished the turn, though. So, there we go. Junior Troop is beaten again. Yep, sit down, man. No! Well, I'm sorry. It had to happen. Alright, let's continue on. Even though the smart thing to do would be to go back and heal up. I wonder if that will foreshadow something bad happening. But if you hit this tree several times, you'll get a letter to the Mayor Penguin in Shiver City. And then right down here, if you flip this panel, you'll get a star piece. Let's see. Is there anything in this? Yep, yep, right behind here is the repel gel. So, free repel gel. Can't complain. And, of course, we've got new enemies in here. And uh, you're going to find out really quickly just how bad everything goes down here. Because, like I said, the smart thing to do would have been to go back and heal. And considering I have to be a Tattle guy this time around, I have to do this stuff. This is a Frost Piranha. They're frozen piranha plants. HP 10, attack 4. They'll try to freeze you with an icy breath. You'll be at their mercy if they freeze you, so you better try to immobilize them. Ice attacks won't work. Fire will, though. And yeah, trying to get the timing down in this episode, for some odd reason, was not going too well. So we are actually going to potentially pay the price here for not healing. And this is why you always heal, folks, because you get knocked out. But the good news in this, all this is that I do have a life shroom on me. And while it's not optimal to, to use it, it's nice to show off what happens if you do have one. So, But now we're going to go ahead and play a little more smart and use Smooch to heal 20 HP. And get a free kiss from a star spirit, absolutely. And I think that's our first and, I believe, only death in this run. I mean, I guess technically it's not a death if you come back, you know, with a life shroom, but... They did say they were weak to fire, so we're gonna go ahead and use Cooper, who has Fire Shell. And yeah, it does pretty good damage. And that takes care of those guys. Yeah, these guys with the rocks are kind of annoying. You can attack the rock pile to get rid of their rocks, forcing them to use just, like, tongue attacks. Because obviously the rocks hit really hard. So we're going to go ahead and change back to Goombaria so I can get the tattle off on these guys. Alright, what do we got here? This is a Gulpit. Whoa, Gulpits look pretty burly, don't they? HP 12, attack 2, defense 0. Gulpits attack by picking up rocks in their mouths and spitting them back. The bigger the rock, the more damage. Big rocks are 7, small are 5. They can't do damage without ammo, so you can concentrate on the rocks first. Yeah, but that's no longer necessary, and yes, we are going to overexpend our... FP and use a power quake for good measure. Just to take them both out, and I have to deal with that last rock they've got stashed. But yeah, lesson learned, everyone. Always heal up after a boss fight. So, let's go ahead and continue on, though. Our journey hasn't ended yet, thanks to the life shroom. Let's go ahead and deal with this guy. Alright. Back to the old cutting of the, uh, the battles, because we've fought a bunch of the enemies in the area already. 
fun, you know, funny enough. There was a letter behind that crystal back there, by the way. What do we got going on here? Oh, no, a spooky ghost. Uh, I should run, but I'm gonna stand my ground for boss time. Against this guy. What are you? Uh, this monster, even I don't know what it is. It looks really terrifying. I get the funny feeling I had a nightmare about it. HP 20, defense 0. I don't know its attack power, but it must be very powerful, judging by its looks. Well, it's only got 20 HP. That's how powerful can it possibly be. Yeah, we've already almost whittled it down. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no, stars! Uh-oh. What kind of damage are we looking at? Oh, well, we blocked it, and it did zero. Hardly. Well, it must not be as powerful as you think, Goombario, so... Matter of fact, one good old-fashioned head bonk here, and we're done. Not much of a boss fight. Oh, so close to a level up. So very close. Oh, run away! Run away! Ow. Oh, twinks. It's all kind of little star spirit guys. Huh. Well, that was strange. Well, that takes care of that, so... Let's head further up, and here we are. We finally reached the place. Oh, man, you you do look just like Merlin. Merle? Alright, well... Of course. Let's go to your house. That way we can avoid the cold. Alright, well, I guess we'll follow him on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. See you later, Prenny Squad. Have a great day.